What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dundreary Virgo Classic Custom. So the Virgo Classic came out with the Lowriders Custom Classics update in March of 2016. It can be purchased from the Benny's website for $165,000. Now the Virgo name was first introduced in GTA 4 and it's pretty much identical to the Virgo Classic we currently have in GTA 5. But anyways, in terms of the Benny's variant, the cost to convert it is about $240,000. So if you add this and the initial cost of the car together, you're at 405000 which honestly isn't too bad for a vehicle that has this much customization. Now in terms of performance, this car is in the muscle car class, and no surprise, it's one of the worst in terms of performance in that class, around the pace of the Manana Custom and the Faction. Now obviously this car is a lowrider, it wasn't made for performance, it was made to look wild with crazy ridiculous customization options and it definitely succeeds in that. But anyways, in terms of what the Virgo Classic is based on, it's primarily based on the 1977 Lincoln Mark V, mixed with the 1977 Mercury Cougar, and the 1977 Ford Thunderbird as well. Pretty interesting combination there, but the result is an awesome base of a car to turn into a lowrider. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Benny's Virgo Classic. Alright, Virgo Classic Custom. Now what do you need? Okay, armor, brakes, chassis, aerials, chrome antenna, classic antennas, and dual chrome antennas. Um, I guess I don't know if we should keep the clean look or put an antenna on there. I don't even know um, I guess might as well put these for looks and aesthetics. Why not? Uh, wipers so you have a standard wipers and you can do chrome wipers awesome and secondary painted I think definitely the chrome wipers gas tank So what it doesn't come with a gas tank stock <laughs> What okay, so you have primary color tank uh, secondary, livery, and chrome. I think we should do livery, see what it matches with. There you go. Chassis, got the curb feelers. I don't know, I don't know about those. I think I'll skip out on those. Engine, engine block. You got the, whoa. <laughs> well, that definitely dresses up the engine bay. Kind of covers all the ugliness. Giant cover on there. Looks pretty good. Reminds me of like, those really high-end custom builds that you see at SEMA and stuff, how they cover most of the engine bay with panels that are painted the same color as the car. Um, very cool. So then you have different valve cover variants. And then the last one, which I think looks the best, it gives you the chrome border, but then the actual face of the valve cover is the primary color with the livery. Um, so that's awesome. We're definitely going to do that one there. Air filters. Got the chrome. Got the twin. Uh, ramp pipes and the swept back ramp pipes. Okay, I think we'll do the twin air and Tune Exhaust so we have the stock exhaust here. I don't know what these look like really can't chrome tip I Guess they're just like a more subtle hidden exhaust if you want something that you know You don't really see more incognito um, Then you got the big bore exhaust and then you have the dual exit. <laughs> I think we'll definitely do the big board. I think this is a bit too much here, so we'll do that. Grill, you have the chrome grill. Okay. Sports grill and the mesh. I think I like the sports with the slats like that. I think it looks a bit better than this one. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, continuing hydraulics. So you got the stock pumps. The pattern twin and then the four in a row. I think we'll do the chrome twin pumps. No I think those are good there. Uh, interior trim, trim design. So you have the luxury velour, which completely changes the entire <laughs> interior, including the seats and everything. The headliner, 
I mean, it's much more than just materials. It pretty much changes the, the entire interior. Um, then you have zebra version of that, tiger, and then leopard. So, <laughs> hmm, I think... I mean, I don't want to stick with the stock. I think we have to definitely have to do one of these. Probably going to do the velour, honestly. I guess we'll just do that. Do Trim drink? color. Um, we'll save this for when we do the uh, the primary color and stuff. So we'll hold off on that for now. Ornaments. If you want to do one of the bobbleheads, it's up to you. Dials. Plain Jane flames. The sun god looks pretty good. With the negative ones. Alright, I think we'll do the sun god. Whatever you Steering decide. wheels. Technology all different variants it. here. Not bad. Hmm. I think I might do the burnout one. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably do that. Right, let's do that one. Oh, Column shifters. I think we'll do the lucky dice. <laughs> I always put that one, but I don't know. I feel like it goes with almost every build, especially these Benny's cars. Uh, plaques. Oh, for those of you who like the plaques, you can put one of those there. Um, got the speakers back here. So I think we'll just do the extreme one. Why not go crazy with it? Even though I like this one a bit better. I feel like the extremes maybe a tad too much, even though that's kind of hard to say, you know, on a... <laughs> A Benny's custom lowrider build pretty much everything is supposed to be insane, but I think these look a bit better the round speaker shelf with the neon um, Light color So this is for the gauges. I'm not sure if it changes. Okay. Yeah, it does changes the neon on the speakers. Okay um, Hmm, I don't know <laughs> Maybe you just diamond blue Just do that there. It's like a white but like with a hint of blue I guess just to brighten it up a little bit uh, or maybe you know what maybe Maybe like a purple? They have purple here. It looks a bit weird. Oh, shafter purple is a nice hint. Purple there. All right, let's do that. Let's do the shafter purple. You can you. pretty much guess now what my <laughs> color combination is going to be for the main car. Um, let's modernize the lights. It is a no, custom no. build, anyways. Um, underglow. We'll do underglow on it. And we'll do I think maybe black light. Maybe looks good there. Up. Continuing liveries. Okay, so you have blue outline. You have gray classic pinstripe, white thick pinstripe, gold pure geometry, furiously floral. Okay, blue scrolls, orange scrolls. That looks pretty ridiculous. Uh, and then the crimson. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I think we're gonna do the white thick pinstripes. Um, plates, plate holder, yeah, gold fist twisted, low and slow. Yeah, we'll definitely do the low and slow. Nothing suits a low rider better than that. <laughs> um, I think we'll do a vanity plate for the front as well because you can't remove it, and I don't want just a random plate at the front or even my custom plate. Um, so I guess we'll probably just do the the Benny's plate on there because there is no Dundreary logo here, unfortunately. So we'll just do the Benny's on there. Actual plate back here. We'll do a black background, and I don't really have a good plate for this, so we'll just put my America plate because it is an American car. Um, respray. All right. So for this, we're going to go to metallic uh, midnight purple, and then we're going to give it a uh, pearlescent. Wait a minute. Pearlescent. Oh, okay. There we go. Pearlescent of right here. Hot pink, look at that. Amazing. The way it brightens up that midnight purple is just insane. It's like a candy color. Um, secondary, SD roof, and a certain. Is that, is that linked to the interior? What? Secondary, interesting. Huh. Hmm. You know what? I might. Okay, wait. Let's do the trim color first. I think we should do this like white. I think Life is hard when you and how does how does it look with I don't know if the purple will even come out there let me see yeah not really it's kind of blue what the heck is that that's weird <laughs> okay let's go the other way around let's do a let's do secondary white do an ice white there don't and then trim color 
we'll do that's just the interior let's we'll see if we can do like a purple or something maybe like a shaft or purple or maybe we'll, we'll probably maybe black or we'll just do it white because it is black and white in here which looks pretty cool you know what yeah that that suits it well i think the black and white is fine i think yeah the purple is a bit too much like spinnaker purple for example i think it looks a bit weird <laughs> okay let's do the um let's definitely do the black here okay uh transmission we already did the other oh and i forgot to show the um the crew emblem goes on the door you can see okay so we did transmission trunk we got all the different uh, subs and speakers back here with delivery that's pretty sick whoa i like this one a lot premium wall of sound this one has a neon yeah the premium with delivery that's 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 insane <laughs> all right let's do that one turbo wheels um so i actually went through all the wheels here even the benny's bespoke which you know have a bit more like premium looking wheels and there isn't really one that has like the deep dish like the stock ones do except for these gold ones um and i do want to keep it kind of chrome and i looked through these as well and i couldn't really find one um like the stock one with a nice deep dish Make look which i think suits this car pretty well so I'm actually gonna stick with the stock wheels, believe it or not. These are exclusive to this car because apparently they're not in here with the deep dish like that in the chrome. So <laughs> we're definitely gonna keep those. Um, continuing windows, we'll do just black them out there. And that's all the options there. So no bumper upgrades, unfortunately, no side skirts, no hoods. So it's pretty much like most of the Benny's lowriders or in minivans as well and stuff like that where it's just you know interior and speakers and engine bay options and interior options and stuff like that but not really any visual upgrades from the outside in terms of like hoods and bumpers and stuff like that um, we did have a grill option on this one which was nice but and the antennas but other than that i wish i wish there was a little more but at the end of the day it's still a lot so all right let's take it for a drive exit to ground <laughs> that thing looks really cool <laughs> looks i think the black light was a good choice too for the underglow that is sick that's awesome this came out great with the black light and the purple that is nice and then the white livery with the white on the roof i think it, i think it suits it very well oh, let's give it a few revs oh yeah that v8 first person this thing looks ridiculous and <laughs> that's awesome all right let's floor it wow a lot of wheel spin that's surprising we're on the traffic here. It's, you know, it's it's driving, it's going. We're floored. That's a station wagon. It's okay. You know, it's what you expect from a lowrider. Um, not anything crazy. Oh, the brakes are just awful. <laughs> brakes are really bad. The handling is extremely floaty, again, as you would expect from a lowrider. It drives as it should. It drives exactly as it should. <laughs> it's so weird, too. Let me take a, let me take this corner harder on purpose. Let's see how much it spins out. You know what? It composes itself very well. You lose a ton of speed doing that, but it's a little harder for you to spin out. Let me see here. Look at that! It maintains itself very well. Obviously, it lacks a ton of power, but <laughs> hard on the brakes. Excalade, go out of my way. <laughs> Mid drives too. Let's try that. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh my gosh, try to drift it. If I had more power, this would actually be a fun drift car. <laughs> All right, since this is a mus it's in the muscle car class technically, so let's see if it does the wheelie. It does. It doesn't do it that well, but it it does the wheelie. Not bad. And of course you have the hydraulics. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's lower this. It's being a little glitchy. There we go. Okay. Let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff in the sketchy alley. <laughs> Alright. Here go doors. Let's do that here. Well, let's start it up so it doesn't look as dark out here. Or, uh, remote functions. Oh, yeah. Okay, vehicle doors. Let's see what we got. All. 
Not bad. Wow. Those are the valve covers for sure. The livery in the center with the chrome around the sides. That came out great. And around the panels, the covers on the engine bay too. That looks really good with the livery. Very nice touch. The interior, I think, suits it well. The black and white. Um, I would have liked like a dark purple. Even though it's, I think it's a little bit too much purple. And the midnight purple looked blue for some reason. Um, back here, you got the shelves. I think the we chose spinnaker or purple for the light color of the gauges, which also transfers to the um, you know the neons around the uh, light and stuff. I think it turned out great. I think it did turn out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it's a cool car for the money. Pretty much all these original Benny's Lowriders and custom cars are, um, because you know this this came out back in 2016 where stuff was starting to get expensive, but it wasn't that crazy yet. Uh, pretty much all these lowriders are worth it, especially when you consider the prices of everything these days. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 out old do you want to see me customize next, or if one that I haven't customized yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.